Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I've teased you enough on Instagram, I'm gonna finally share with you the ultimate chocolate chip cookie recipe that I will be willing to bet anything that it will be your favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe ever. It is so good, uh, we can't get enough. It is Mia's favorite cookie right now. Um, they're just phenomenal. And I wanna share with you what goes in them uh, because it's just, everything together just makes a perfect cookie, and I'm thrilled to share it with you. There are a couple of additional things that you may think that might not make a difference, but I think that they do. Starting with vanilla sugar. You can absolutely just use regular granulated sugar and just a smidgen more of vanilla when we go to add it later. But I think that the vanilla sugar really adds a very deep sweet note of vanilla that doesn't come because it's been steeping in the vanilla pod for so long. It's amazing. Brown sugar in here, very, very important all-purpose flour, salt, baking soda, and this gem right here is instant vanilla pudding mix. Has to be instant, do not even think about getting sugar-free, low-fat, none of that. It has to be just a good old American instant vanilla pudding mix. It makes the most delicious cookie and it gives you cookies such a beautiful chewy texture you cannot imagine. The other thing that you need is a combination of chocolate. Your standard semi-sweet chocolate chips, but you also need a very good melty sweet chocolate. So we're gonna use some milk chocolate bar, like a really good chocolate bar, a milk chocolate bar, and then you just cut it into small pieces. So I have that over here. Semi-melted butter. You could just use melted butter, unsalted. And this is eggs and some ver more vanilla extract. And that is it. And it is just you wait until you make this. In this large bowl, we're gonna add the butter and the both kinds of sugar. And I'm just gonna take a handheld electric whisk and really get this mix really, really well. Uh, because another thing that makes this cookie so well is by adding a lot of, by mixing it a lot, you're adding a lot of air in it, therefore making it really fluffy and just chewy and delicious and just you wait. Turn that off. We're gonna just scrape the sides of the bowl. Very, very important. And now we add vanilla extract. And all these vanilla ingredients are not going to make this cookie like over the top vanilla. It's not, but it's just gonna add the most, I don't even know, you just have to make it. Now at this point, I'm gonna whisk it again for a good minute or two, because again, I want it really fluffy and delightful. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That's perfect. I'm just actually gonna remove those. Give this a good scrape. Look how fluffy and delightful that is. That's exactly, exactly what you are looking for. And then I'm just gonna briefly whisk, well, just stir my dry ingredients. Add those right in. And I'm just gonna add my mix of two chocolate, right in, two chocolates, I should say. I know it looks like it's so many different things that you wouldn't ordinarily add to your chocolate chip cookie recipe, um, but you know, this is what makes it the ultimate chocolate chip cookie recipe. And I just use a spatula at this point, and it looks like there's way too much dry stuff, not enough wet, but trust you me, there is. You just have to patiently stir this all together to combine. See how what I'm doing here? I'm just sort of pushing it down. You can do this in your standing mixer. That would be way easier. Um, I didn't think of that, <laughs> but you could. That looks perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cover this and I'm gonna pop it into the fridge for about an hour. Then we form, then we bake, then we eat, and just you wait. And I rhymed, did not plan that. That's it. I mean, new job here. I make rhymes on the dot, like on the, you know, I should have quit when I was ahead. All right, my cookie dough was in the fridge about an hour. I've got my oven pre to 375. I've got a large baking sheet with some parchment paper on it. And now I just take a cookie scoop. A pretty, I, I mean, I really make sure that when I scoop it, um, it's pretty generous. Do you know what I mean? And I just plop those on there, a couple inches apart from each other, like so. Last one. Oh! These are gonna go into the oven, you know, when it comes to cookies, either on the lowest third oven or the lowest third part of your oven or the top. And I'm gonna pop these in. I always do the lower for about nine-ish minutes or until the bottom edges are lightly golden. When it comes to cookies, air on the side of underdone rather than overdone. So I'm gonna pop these in and then we'll let them cool. 
I put this in the fridge for another day because homie does not need more cookies for the day. <laughs> I'm gonna pop these in and I'll show you what it looks like when they are done. These bad boys were in the oven for nine minutes and they're perfect. And I just wanna, I just wanna show you the inside. I mean, it is a, it's, it's just chewy and it's perfect. They're still slightly warm, but look at that. There's not, I'm telling you, it is the ultimate best chocolate chip cookie on the face of the planet. <laughs> what is this? Everybody will love them. Make a lot. Stash in the freezer. The cookie dough, I mean. So then you have them ready. In minutes when people come over, you can make them from frozen. Just add a couple extra minutes. You'll be the talk of the neighborhood. Go to Laura in the kitchen.com to get the ring recipe. This is so good. It's like going down so well. I don't need a glass of milk or something. <laughs> Go to Laura in the kitchen.com, get the recipe, make them, tag me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Because you know me, I'm nosy. If my name was Rosie, I'd be nosy Rosie. Go to Laura in the kitchen, get the recipe, make them, share it with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.